morning everyone uh, welcome to today's video um, it is supposed to be an outdoor ride today but unfortunately uh, the weather uh, isn't cooperating with me and um, what's happening is they're forecasting severe thunderstorms uh, some hail later uh, and heavy rain so unfortunately you can see right now that the it's pretty cloudy uh, in the skies so I am so bummed because I was gonna ride out to Macedonia State Park show you guys what that's about but unfortunately I am not gonna be able to ride outside today so uh, I do have a plan B and plan B will be to uh, ride indoors um, unfortunately I'll be doing Zwift um, well, not unfortunately, but unfortunately in a sense that I was supposed to ride outside. But yeah, so I guess I have Zwift um, as my backup plan. And uh, Jason is going to tag along with me to try to attempt the Uber pretzel, which is um, 79 miles with 7,600 feet of climbing. So that's going to be a long ride, which was supposed to be um, what it's going to be like today anyway. I'm supposed to do a, a long ride. So for fueling strategy, strategy um, this is what we have. Uh, we got the, the bike erg here with the computer set up. And um, this is just one of those, the box that I use for box jumps. Um, half this side here is my nutrition. This is what Jason's going to be taking. Um, or eating. So I have here, this is Dave's, um, I think it's called Dave's bread with, it's mixed nut butter and jam. Um, I think it's like strawberry and raspberry jam. Got the banana. I have two of these gels. I think, yeah, this bottle is almost out. So this is 400 calories. Um, this is by uh, First Endurance. Uh, so I'm going to be eating the banana first, and then I'm going to move on to doing the sandwich, the PB&J, and the Cliff Bar. This is 260 calories. And then switch over to, towards the end of the ride, do liquid fueling, um, doing the gels. So I also have a gel here, the goo. I like to save the goo at the end of the ride or towards the end of the ride because of the caffeine. Um, so I, these, this is a hundred calories. I think I'm all set with just one gel for today. And then I have two bottles of plain water and I have here my handlebar. I have this bottle that's filled with the electrolyte drink. Um, so that's mine. This is Jason's. He's also got the, um, peanut butter and jelly. I, I, he has like a special bread that he uh, uses. I don't really know what it is, but I'll have to check with him. He's got the two bananas. Maple syrup. Uh, this is, he swears by it. I haven't tried it yet. I, I Eventually I'd like to try it, but yeah. Maple syrup and then these, this bottle is actually, I have a lot of these bottles, so I just remove the, um, the label and then clean it and then reuse the bottles for this. And he's got this muscle up protein bar, um, gluten free, this is cool. So he's got two of that. Um, it's got, this one says 12 grams of carbs and calorie wise, 230 calories. So almost close enough to the Cliff Bar. I think the Cliff Bar, this has 260 calories. So we don't know if we wanna do the mega pretzel or the uber pretzel. I think the mega pretzel will be enough climbing and miles for a five and a half, five hour, five and a half hour ride. The uber might take a lot longer. Um, so we haven't quite decided yet what we want to do with that. I didn't realize that there was a mega pretzel. I knew that there was a pretzel an uber pretzel didn't see the mega pretzel um so we decided to do the mega pretzel i think that would get us to um about five to five and a half hours maybe a little 
faster time than that. I don't know. Um, sorry if it's dark in here. I usually like to have the lights turned down uh, when riding on Zwift. So it's going to be pretty dim when you guys are watching this. So, oh, where are you? How come we're not? Oh, there you are. Okay. So we are one hour into the ride, 12.6 miles uh, so far. Uh, we're heading over to the radio tower and so far so good. I had to stop midway though to use the bathroom and um, that's pretty much the only kind of a glitch that we had. So we had to stop for that. But yeah, so, so far so good. We're going to, I'm going to get something to eat. Um, maybe the banana and a little bit of the PB&J sandwich that I have. Yeah, so Joy mentioned to you earlier that we're doing a, an indoor ride, long ride together today because uh, she wasn't able to ride outside because of the uh, iffy weather with possible thunderstorms. And um, so far it hasn't materialized out there. So it's going to be a bummer for Joy if it ends up not raining. But I'm happy that she's here because it keeps me company for this long ride uh, i'm having a lot more fun than i have been the last few weeks on my my solo indoor rides so all right two hours in 27.4 miles into our ride. It hasn't thunderstormed yet. I think it will. The, the, the sky is uh, getting pretty dark. But um, let me tell you how much, how great that PB&J sandwich is. It's delicious. So I'm going to have that. And then ugh, that's two hours down, three and a half hours left to go still feeling pretty good except the the groin is is acting up already but um aside from that legs still feel pretty good so almost three hour mark uh we're at two hours and 53 minutes and i said i just wanted to stop because my hands the palms of my hands are you could tell it's like it was red uh it's getting tired from holding the handlebars i'm just getting tired i'm trying to maintain 1.5 watts per kilo um it's hard so i think what we're going to do is fuel a little bit more because i think that might be the problem is you know i wasn't fueling enough so I'm going to eat a little bit more and um, still no thunderstorms outside. So, yeah. It is raining though. I see rain. Oh, it is raining. Oh, yeah, it is. I mean, it's drizzling. It's not heavy rain. Groin pain is in the orange zone now. Not severe, but uh, it's, it's in the, uh, the warning territory. Need, needing to get off the saddle frequently, um, even when I'm not climbing. So this is always the problem with with the long rides for me, is especially the indoor ones. Uh, around the three hour mark, the groin pain gets really bad. Uh, so we'll see if, uh, if I can tough it out the rest of the way. Legs are kind of getting tired now too, um, but I think that might be Partially because I just need to eat some more um, Need some fuel. So I'm gonna get to that and catch you later We're at three hours and 51 minutes and oh my gosh 
It is so hard. It is I don't know how people can do an Everest challenge on Zwift. It is so hard. And uh, I don't know. My I'm not cramping, but my legs are definitely really tired because the only time that you can really coast is going downhill and sometimes that, that is, doesn't even last very long. So you don't really get a recovery per se, or it's a very short recovery. So it's just like constant pedaling and I'm at the point where I'm below one watts per kilo. This is so much harder than riding outside because we've definitely ridden, you know, over 60 miles with similar elevation gain. But yeah, no, this is so much harder. Yeah, feeling pretty tired now. Uh, like Joy said, it, these indoor rides are always harder than outdoor rides to do the same, the same amount of time. Um, it's just more constant pedaling, um, but we can get through this one. Sixty-six point four. Wait, where's the finish line? Do they have a finish line for this? Nope, yeah, you'll see it eventually. You should see it eventually. Probably around the corner there. 66 and a half. Well, we did it. We finished the mega pretzel. That was brutal. Um, good news is that we did it in less than five hours. Um, what, 66.7 miles, and what was the elevation gain? Uh, 5,383 feet. 5,383 is the elevation gain. So a lot of climbing, but yeah, I have to go and get something to drink. I want to eat ice cream or something. Well... Thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, sorry there's no outdoor ride this week. Hopefully I'll be able to do one next weekend. Until next time, uh, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button, comment down below. Uh, if you've done this route before, what was your time? How did you feel afterwards? And have you done the Uber pretzel? Um, who knows, we may attempt that next time which is going to be not it won't be for a long time all right hit the like and subscribe button thanks again and uh see you again next week bye bye